Guys, what's happening? I wish I had some good news about France and what they're doing when it comes to Islam, but I don't. So here's a video that was recommended to me. France using all of its power to really, really try and stop Islam. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. I hope you are well. France, officially French Republic, it's very famous for Islamophobia. Do you guys know that France shut down more than 30 mosques during the past year of what Paris says is a campaign to combat radicalism? Let me word it in a better way. It does not combat radicalism. Going to the mosque regularly can prevent radicalism. Hypocrisy. Radicalism is being sponsored by the French government in its policies. When you marginalize people, radicalization is bound to happen. If they want to prevent radicalism, they need to establish justice in society right. and stop oppressing Muslims and causing problems to them. We all know France has the largest Muslim population in Western European countries. Our hearts go out to Muslim brothers and sisters living in France. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you freedom and ease. Ameen. But even as polls show anti-Islamist sentiment rising, Islam is the fastest growing religion in Europe. Subhanallah. This was posted in time. The closure of mosques hurts us. It's our place of worship. It affects religious freedom. The Prophet Muhammad wasallam said, The entire earth has been made a place of prayer, except for graveyards and washrooms. To Allah belongs heavens and earth and whatever is in between. When the time comes, all these countries, nationalism will be accountable for their actions. We all know many professional French soccer players are Muslims. Yeah. Do Emmanuel Macron and his cabinet consider that there is something called freedom of religion? Or he is in only when it is freedom of speech? It's very heavy to hear things like this and it affects us as well. Brothers and sisters, in France and across the globe as well, remember, whatever is happening to you is already written. We might question why is this happening to us? Why not somebody else? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has the picture while we have a pixel. We might not understand everything clearly, but we need to be patient. We need to do our best, spread this beautiful message of Islam to people. There's a lot of misconceptions about Islam in media and some countries as well. We need to learn how to deal with these things. Equip yourself with knowledge. Knowledge is very important. Especially Islamic knowledge helps you distinguish between what's right and what's wrong. Let's find comfort in knowing that Allah knows and He's the best of protectors. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant Muslims of France the peace and happiness. Ameen. Okay, so France in this case really has to be careful because shutting down mosques and uh, limiting how Muslims can worship like this is going to create some sort of pushback. You know, people want the freedom of religion in whatever society that they're in. You know, the freedom to practice religion is such an important thing for people. And then when you take that away, what happens is you create frustration and that can then lead to persecution and then uprising. So, I mean, if you're gonna combat radicalism, there's there's other ways to do it. Shutting down and limiting how Muslims do their worship, it's not the best way at all. It's gonna create the opposite effect. Now, the thing is, of course, yes, every country has the right to run the country however they want and if france and you know they feel that shutting down these mosques are the best thing to do and put you know laws in place that remove islam if they feel that that is the best ultimately that's what france is going to do but again at the same time that's going to create a lot of friction and there's of course going to be pushback when people's freedoms and rights are taken away there is 
push back. The best thing to do is, yes, allow people to worship how they want to worship. Freedom of religion is a thing. Allow them to worship and put laws in place to help govern society as a whole versus signaling out one particular religious group. But again, France is going to do what France is going to do. So also my, you know, thoughts, prayers go out to French Muslims and it, 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 can, it can be tough. So, you know, just really, really stick to it. Hang in there. Stand up for your rights. And um, yeah, that's it for me in this one, guys. I'll catch you in the next episode. Later.